Temple is coming off a 26-11 and 11 season that marked the best turnaround in Division I history, winning 17 more games than in the previous season. Playing a notoriously tough non-conference schedule, the Owls picked up several big wins, highlighted by an upset against number 10 Kansas. In the end, though, one more win might have made all the difference when the team gathered to find out if their name would be called during the NCAA selection show. Well, we had disappointment. I, I will tell you that I was walking around our practice facility and our players were in the locker room, but I didn't watch it with them. I, I was too nervous, to be honest with you, because I thought we were on the bubble and I wasn't sure how it was going to be. And I, so I was hoping that one of my guys would come out and say, you know, midway through my walk that, hey, we're in, we're seated here, we're playing there against this team, and nobody ever came. And so it was then up to me to go into the locker room and talk to our guys. What do, what do we say? You know, and again, we, we talked about the disappointment. And then we said, if this is the most disappointed you're ever going to be in your lifetime, you're going to have a hell of a life. It's going to be a good life for you. Uh, on top of all that, we got a job to do because we're going to still play more basketball. And let's see if we can't make some noise in the NIT and, and uh, make a statement. And uh, I think our guys did a really good job of that. After barely missing out on the NCAA tournament, the Owls made a run through the NIT all the way to the semifinals at Madison Square Garden where their postseason ended with a loss to Miami. A successful run, but tough to not be disappointed when your heart is set on the big dance. A lot of motivation, you know, it's tough not hearing our name called on Selection Sunday, but we use that as fuel during the offseason, you know, coming into workouts with a mindset as that's what we want to get back to, just to be a tournament team. The greatest day of your life is sitting at home or with your team uh, and watching the NCAA tournament selection show come on to see where you're going. And when you know you're in, it's an awesome feeling. When you don't know and you're on the bubble, it's an unbelievably nervous feeling. And when you know you're not in, that's the worst feeling of all. We didn't get it this year, so it was a disappointment. But I think we made the most of our situation. This season, the Owls already have two wins over top 25 teams, both coming in the last four games. That accomplishment marks the ninth year in a row in which Temple has a win over a top 25 opponent. Coach Dumphy's squad knows it's important from here on out to prove they can get those big wins so that their fate plays out differently this time around. Just hard work every day. We, we work hard with that uh, mindset that we need to get back in the tournament. This is the stuff we have to do now to reach that goal. We have to prepare and be ready to go because we have a, a wonderful challenge in front of us and where it's going to end at the end of the year, we don't know. but phenomenal challenge and it's I think it's our jobs to create these memories and experiences for our student athletes and I think we have set it up where they've got a great opportunity to have a phenomenal memory and experience for themselves. Three of Temple's six losses have come to teams that were ranked in the top 25 at the time of the game with another coming on the road against the 2015 NCAA finalist Wisconsin. So some tough games on the Owls schedule and a very competitive conference lineup to go. But if Temple can keep riding this wave of momentum, Fran Dunphy could very well be having a different talk with his team in the postseason.